Hurry it up there, Kern. Get that stuff out of there. You know, Lindstrom, I was just wondering why Doyle, with his reputation, being a big international crook, couldn't figure out a way to take over that Rickson ranch. You know, he's been working on the old man. But that girl isn't so easy to handle. Imagine a girl giving us trouble. Yeah, but you never met up with Helen Rickson, have you? No. Five miles to go. Five miles to go. Five miles to go. Five miles to the border. Only five miles to go. I can't figure why that outfit's driving across Rickson's range. Maybe we ought to watch it. No, let's get this stuff over the border. One mile to go. One mile to go. One. One mile to the border. Only one mile to go. Hip. Hello, Greg. Hello, Linton. Everything quiet? Uh, not a nicker. Why, anything up? Yeah, there's a car riding along the ridge. You better keep an eye open. I don't want to come snooping around here. Hey, you know, this is the best way of mining I've ever seen. You put the silver in the mine yourself, then you know you got pay ore. Doyle figured it's the only way we can cover up. And he ought to know. He's beaten rackets in more countries than you ever heard of. And now he's running this town. Yeah, he's slick, all right. But he wants to watch his step in these parts. You know, it isn't so easy for a foreigner to operate as it used to be. Ah, uh, he's plenty smart. He's got it doped out this way. When you turn up with silver bullion, you got to explain to the government where it comes from. The government's funny that way. Yeah. And we take silver out of a mine that hasn't shown a pay streak in over 20 years. <laughs> That's her. That's Helen Rickson. Probably getting primed to win that Rodeo race. Say, if she should win that $5,000... Not a chance. I am riding for Doyle, you know. Toast one, Bill! Okay, here it goes. Hey, if you're tired, Dan, why don't you just lie down? Boy, that girl could sure do things with that hay burner. Female Buffalo Bill. <laughs> now you see what makes the West wild. Hey! Hey! You think we're a couple of clay pigeons? We're not targets? I'm gonna put a stop to this. I'll take care of this. Hey, wait a minute. Here's a guy will help us. Howdy! Say, are you the sheriff? What are you doing up there? What are we doing up here? We're hiding from Annie Oakley. Don't worry, young fella. That's probably Helen Rickson. And she don't hit anything except what she aims at. Oh, yeah? Hey, look. I'm gonna get down. A good idea. Yeah. Hey, looks like it's gonna be big doings. Are we gonna... Yeah. We'll be staying around long enough to take it in. Well, let's get to town. Come on. Wait a minute. That's the sheriff. Let's see what's up. Hello, Foster. Hello. Hi, Miss Helen. How's it going? See, you've been practicing for the Rodeo again. Oh, we've got our hearts set on winning it. Haven't we, Snowy? I guess it's no secret that I've got to win it for the sake of dear old Box R debt. I come to make my official presentation, as I do every year. Why, sure. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, uh, it behooves me. Uh, that's not the right speech. Doesn't it start like this, Sheriff? On behalf of the Rodeo Association and... That's uh... it. You're right. <coughs> On behalf of the Rodeo Association and its members, to which we all belong, 
I hand you this money for you to worry about. Uh, you're the official treasurer anyway. Well, after that fine speech, you'd better give it to me. So there's $5,000 in cash, Helen. That's the prize money. You'd better count it. Oh, I know it's all there. It's practically mine anyway, because you see, I'm going to that race. Yeah, darn tootin' you are, gal. We're all rooting for you, Helen. We sure are. I wish you all kind of good luck, Miss Helen. Thank you, boys. Thank you. So long, Helen. So long. Bye. 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 Let's get to town. We've seen enough. Be a ringtail coyote. Take it slower, Bill. Ah, gee, I just can't seem to do it. You know, Helen, from the day you brought me here, after that phony vaudeville manager left me stranded in Tawanda with a backdrop, three orchestrations, and 15 cents in cash, I promised myself that I was going to show my appreciation by trying to become a real Westerner, like you. You know, honey, I didn't learn those things back east in school. You can't learn riding and shooting in a day. It takes practice. Yeah, I know. And I want to learn this business, because after all, I might meet that human buzzard again someday. <laughs> and when I do, <laughs> I'm going to put one on his front and one on his back. I'm going to kick him in the shins and break his arm and bite off his nose. And then I'm going to blast away so that his upper half won't even know what county his lower half is in. <laughs> Heaven help him. Well, nobody else will. Now, look, honey, you keep on practicing. I'm going to ride into town. I might be a little late for supper. Okay, I'll keep it in the others. Go on. Hey, there's Miss Buffalo Bill's father. Boy, I'm glad I brought you on this job. <laughs> you know everybody. <laughs> Up. Three doses. We'll call it a day. How much am I in for, Doyle? 2,500. Well, I'll try for that much more. Maybe my luck will change. How are you going to pay, Ruth? I still own the Box R Ranch. I'm good for 5,000. Box R doesn't earn its salt. <laughs> well, it has for 40 years. All right. Well, all right. There's 2,500. Make this note out for five thousand. It's bound to turn pretty soon, Rickson. Eight. Six sedans. An eight. Queen. Ace this. Nine. And a king. Ace king bets. A pair of kings. And a pair of aces. Aces bet. I tap. I call you. And three kings. One do rich. Three aces. I guess they're not running for you. Don't worry about that $5,000 for a few weeks. Oh, you'll get your money, Doyle. Yes, I know. Yes. I'm afraid you wouldn't have called your hand. You really had four aces. You dropped the fourth one on the floor. What makes you think it's my car? I saw you drop it when the dealer slipped it from the bottom of the deck. Why are you?
Father? Yes, dear. What's going on here, Ruth? Well, you'd better ask Doyle. Let's get those fellas. Hold it, we'll sit with later. Thanks for the lift, lady. Come on, Father. You know, that's the first good fight we've had in months. Oh, young man. I want to thank you. Helen, these boys called the turn on Doyle. Caught him cheating me at cards. What's your name? Oliver Shane. This is my partner, Dan Haggerty. And this is my daughter, Helen. How do you do? Uh, Helen, we're having company for supper tonight. Uh, Shay and Haggerty. Why, that's fine, Father. Oh, I don't think you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll be very glad to come for supper. If the guests will hurry, supper will be waiting. Get on your horses, boys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh boy, a home-cooked meal. Always hungry. <laughs> well, I guess you can follow us in that contraption you got there. Well, we'll sure try. <laughs> I'll follow us. Hey, what are you trying to do, choke me? Hey, Helen! Gee, did you see? That's the first time I ever laughed on anything, and it was a man. I think. Well, Belle's only practicing. She's going out to rope steers before long. In the twilight, you could easily mistake Dan for a steer. Oh, well, wise guy. I suppose you always get your men by roping them. Uh, only when they're hard to get. Oh, well, I get it. If you can't get them, nobody can. Well, if I could practice on you, I'd get to be good. Oh, well, not me. Well, I'd never live through it. Well, come on. Let's go into supper now. Oh, boy, what a supper. That's the first home-cooked meal I've had in months. Come on, Dan. I, oh, no. Oh, come on, let's practice. Oh, no, let's sit here under the moonlight. Oh, oh no, I want to practice. Come on, oh, Danny. I gotta digest my pork chops. Oh, Danny, I... Wanny, come on, will you? Let's practice, huh? Oh, all right. But... Here, come on. <laughs> There's Belle up to her old tricks again. Well, Dan can take it. Gee, it must be swell living out here. Oh, I love it. You sing cowboy songs? Why, sure. I love the wide open spaces Far away from crowded city places I love a partner who Can break a buckle With a zip and a yip and a yahoo I love the mountains and the valley Far away from noisy tin pan alley just let me lope along to a good old cowboy song with a zip and a yip and a yip. <laughs> Round them up, rope them up, tie them up, brand them up. It's a thrill you can't deny. Every care's on the run when you're out in the sun underneath that western sky. I love the wide open spaces where a man's a man. And you meet your gal by the old corral. With a zip and a yip and a yip. I love the wide open faces. Where the boys wear fur upon their faces. You can dream of sweet romance. Pulling cactus from your pants. With a zip and a rip and a whoopee. And practice for the major bows out. You can ride out after straight. And you can sit down for days. With a zip. And a rip. And a whoopee. Round them up, roll them up, tie them up, ran them up. It's a thrill you can't deny. Every hair's on the run when you're out in the sun. Where a man's a man and a pal's a pal. And you meet your 
your gal by the old corral with a zip and a yip. disturbed you, honey. Well, I'd stay up all night for a little excitement, but nothing ever happens around here. Honey, you'd better give me that gun. You're allowed to shoot yourself. Maybe I should. Come on, let's go to bed. Hey, I was only kidding. <laughs> and girls just went in the sheriff's office. Yeah, I guess she's reporting the disappearance of that money. Now you can bring old Rickson up. Late last night, I thought I heard someone in the living room. Did you make a search? Yes, in a way. But when I found the living room window open, I thought we'd just forgotten to shut it. And the money just naturally disappeared. It was stolen. You didn't see hiding her hair no one around? Clues of no kind? No. Then we'd better take a run out the ranch and look around. Well, Father's in town. I'd like to find him and tell him. All right, we'll ask some of the boys where he went. I'm sorry you feel that way about it, Roof. See that I hold your note for $5,000? You cheated me, Doyle, and you know it. I think you let that stranger influence you, Roof. Well, I know this, Doyle. I'm not going to pay you. You still have the ranch? And I can always collect. Well, you wouldn't dare. If you don't pay... We'll see about it. Come in. They told me you were up here. The safe at the ranch was broken into last night. The Rodale money is gone. What? The Rodale money? How much was it? $5,000. I think I may be able to help you, Sheriff. Take a look at this, Sheriff. Where'd you get this, Doyle? From Roof Rickson? That's not true. Pretty serious statement, Doyle. Well, I hold his note for $5,000. Does he either put up the ranch or pay? So he, he paid. $5,000? Father, you put up the ranch. It's not true. I gave him back his note. It's in his pocket.
Looks like your note, Ruth. But I didn't take that money, Sheriff. You know he didn't. Maybe she's right. She's the one that has charge of the money every year. You mean to say that? I mean, it's pretty obvious, and you better do your duty. What have you got to say, Helen? Father had nothing to do with this. But we'll let it stand the way Doyle said, that I'm the guilty one. But I can't wait for the law to prove that I didn't do it. It would be too late then. I'll have to prove it myself. Helen Rickson, put up that iron. Stay where you are, all of you. But Helen, Helen! I'll handle this in my own way, Father. I'll take care of this. You're coming with me. You two boys better ride along with the sheriff. few minutes. Hey, Dan, anybody ride past here? A rider? Yeah, there was somebody off in the gully. What's that? That's a trailer. That's where we sleep. Better not wake my partner's missus. She doesn't like to be disturbed. Anything else, Sheriff? Say, you didn't happen to notice which way that rider went. No, I can't say it did. Well, we've wasted enough time around here. Let's get going. Okay. We've got to find out what this is all about. Okay, okay, but give them a chance to get clear. They might come back. I'll watch them from the top of the pole. Okay. Come on, Snowy. We didn't move in. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, Snowy. Come on. Kind of likes it. Come on. Come on. Well, I guess it's up to me to answer a few questions. Skip it. You tell me as much as you want. must be a reason. If you're sure it's Doyle. I'm sure. Just as sure as I am that he robbed our safe. But you can't prove it. No. And now that I'm a fugitive, it doesn't make things any simpler. Helen, can't we help you? Oh, I couldn't let you get mixed up in all this. Well, why not let us worry about that? Well, I would feel a lot braver about it.
sheriff let old man Rickson out today. Yeah, I figured he couldn't hold him much longer. Any news of the girl? No, I think she pulled stakes, but the sheriff keeps on searching. You won't have much competition, Philbin, in that race on Saturday with the girl out of the way. I wish she was right. Yeah, it's just as well for you she isn't. After all, she might happen to win that $5,000. You're checking the border tonight, huh? Yeah, there's some all ready to be taken over. Well, you tell the boys to be particularly careful. That Rickson girl may go across at any time. They know what to do with her if she tries that. Well, sir. Oh, you're that wire stretcher. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. I came over to enter a horse in your race. Kind of odd, but I don't see nothing again it. That is, if you've got the entrance fee. There's your 50. How come you got a horse, mister? Oh, I just naturally lose. Well, that shows that you paid your fee. Well, the horse is entered in the race. The lady buckaroo rides again. Uh. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the special, the gigantic event of the Rodeo. The event of which the thriving of Tawanda is proud. The famous match race over a course of two miles. As the judges stand through the gate along the main street over a chartered course outside of town, returning through Main Street until the speediest Mustang thunders again past the starting line. They're lining up now, the race of the century. Bet that girl of yours isn't riding with you. If she was, that rider of yours wouldn't have a chance. We'll never be able to settle that. Why well, the wrench to see you about that loot of yours? I told you I wasn't paying it. You'll get it, you'll get it. Well, if I don't, I'll lop your ears off. Boys, I'll now take the horse out for line. Step and hard. Lock Betty. Lock me. Around home. <laughs> I see you're all dressed up for the rodeo. The big race is about to start. up at the wire stretcher. I didn't think he'd show up anyhow. Tell him we're ready to start. Roger. Getting started. There they are. They're getting ready now. Across the finish line.
You blundering idiot. Take it easy, Sheriff. Take it easy. That was my horse of one. You'll get the prize money when Helen Brickson comes in to collect it. Yeah. You make the entry for her. I'll do the collecting. Yeah, I've been in a stew about you. Are you all right? Oh, I'm doing fine for a hundred women. Well, the sheriff was by the ranch house this morning looking for you. Yeah, you'd think that four-legged runt was training to be a Northwest Mountie. Always getting his man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got rid of him. <laughs> Boy, this is a lot softer than that saddle. That horse of mine had an awful hard back. Better get clear. The border's close by. I'll go over to the Mexican side. You can find me and I'll kill you. We heard a woman singing. Where is she? Must have sounded pretty. Sounded like Helen Rickson. We want her. of affections. But, but I thought, you see, I, I you thought You thought? Why, you never had a thought unless you were in a saddle breaking some poor horse's back. And then you've got all your brains behind you. Well, uh... Don't argue with me. Take those bowed legs of yours and wrap them around a Cayuse. If you don't get out of here, I'll take that badge and pin it on your ear for a near ring. Can't you see I'm busy? Don't you know what love is? No. Now, what were you going to say, Toodles? I... I was, uh... Nothing. I, I guess you can do the talking for both of us. Oh, 
get that stuff unloaded. We'll be waiting at the other mine. We've got a couple of trips to make tonight. Okay. They're taking silver ore out of that Mexican mine just across the border and smuggling it over. And they have to cross your ranch with it. But that's why Doyle's old abandoned mine is yielding silver again. What do you know about it? At last I met a western bad man. <laughs> uh, you guys don't look so tough to me. I still don't know whether we can implicate Doyle. He'll deny that he has anything to do with it. Yeah, that's possible. We've got to catch him red-handed. I have a plan. Ah, a couple of softies. Yeah, why don't one of you two try to run away? We're gonna take him into town. Get over to the car. Come on, get going. Climb in. You will be careful, won't you, Dan? Ah, uh, don't worry, honey, I'll be back. And don't you go away. All right, you brought the two of them back, but I still don't get it. I know you've been playing around with the Rickson girl. You're not very smart, Doyle. You want something and get tough about it, winding up in a jam. I want something, but I play the game my own way. What do you want? With the government paying a bonus for silver, and the only spot you can cross the border being on the Rickson Ranch. What do you think I want, Doyle? Oh, you're interested in the ranch, eh? Yeah, and what I can do with it. I have a couple of spots now, and we're doing all right. What's on your mind now? Well, I didn't pull your two men out of trouble for nothing. In the first place, I didn't think it was a good idea to let that Rickson girl bust things wide open. And in the second place, I figured we might get together, Doyle. So you want to horn in, eh? Oh, I wouldn't put it that way. But we'll get further if we're not battling each other. Uh, maybe it's worth talking about. But there's one thing we'll have to do right away. What's that? Your two men will have to get out of town and lay low. The Rickson girl knows them. Dan here will take them to a hideout we have near Silver Creek. Maybe he's right. No use taking any chances until that girl is finally out of the way. You can drive him over tonight, Dan. Okay. Now you fellas lay low until you hear from me. Get in. It worked perfectly. <laughs> Those two you nabbed yesterday went to Silver Creek with me, and <laughs> Doyle sent them himself. <laughs> so I turned them right over to the sheriff there, and they're in jail right now. Good. And Oliver? Oh, don't worry about him, Helen. He'll have Doyle in the bag before the night's over. I'd like to look over the mine in Al Canyon tonight. The first thing would be to take over the Rickson Ranch. You have to alibi yourself first about Lynchton and Philbert. I think I can handle that. They got the drop on us and escape. I'll be around. We'll ride out after dinner. Okay. If 
Thought I told you to stay out of town. Wait till you hear this. We were turned over to the sheriff at Silver Creek and locked up. What? I've got an idea. We're riding out now. What do you want here? A little business. It won't take us long. I have no business with you, Doyle. I'm afraid you have. A matter of $5,000. I told you I wasn't going to pay that. If you want it that way, then I'm foreclosing. And here it is. I'm afraid he's within his rights. So you're in with them, too. Why, you? You can't do this to me. You're in my own house. You're the They couldn't. They haven't any right. But I heard him. He said he'd foreclose. And Ollie's with them. Don't worry about it, Helen. Everything will be all right. After tonight. Get behind the trailer. Hurry up. Come on. Put me through to the Rex and Ray. Hurry! Hello? Hello? Hello, Ali Shea? Yeah. Pull the wire. Hello? Yes, Dan. I see. Right now? I'll have to get over. Hang up. Put him up. Now you keep me covered. You've always believed in me. But, Helen, I'm sorry. What I saw was... I'm willing to give myself up now. But first, you must give me one chance. I can clear up the whole matter if you'll get some men and ride along with me. 
But we, uh... You must trust in me. I promise I'll clear up everything or I'll... I'll give myself up. All right. I'll take that chance. Get all the men you can. What? steel bars for the rest of your life. You think you're pretty smart, but you've forgotten one I thing. I haven't forgotten a thing. I haven't forgotten that shot you took at me, Mr. D-Man. When you're trekking 2,000 feet down to the bottom of the canyon, you're the one that better be doing the forgetting. Hey, Philbin, put this boy scout in the trailer. All right, put her in there, too. Here's your man, Claude Jeffries, one of the smartest crooks to ever come into this country. Don't let him get away from you. The government wants him, and I'll make the charges. Oliver Shea, Federal Bureau of Investigation. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. We're mighty grateful to you, Mr. Wirestretcher, or should I say Mr. G-Man. Aren't we, Helen? Why, sure. Mm-hmm. 